Hey guys, I'm SuperGamer1121, and this is my intro to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, which we're playing here, and in the last episode, we did the, uh, Din's Silent Realm, and failed at it once, and had some other kind of, kind of failures that were quite fun and, and whatnot, but in this episode, uh, we got the Fire Shield, or I think that's what they're called, the Fire Shield earrings that we got um, from doing Din's Silent Rom. So in this episode, like we did with the Water Dragon Scale, like we did with the Claw Shots, we're going to explore new environments. I didn't really want to hop down because where we actually want to go is to, well, unexplored areas that we've yet to explore in this region. You know what? I haven't picked up some of these ladybugs in a while. And I don't mind catching some because I feel like I'm catching them for my Animal Crossing game because I am seriously obsessed with that game. I can, I play it every single day. Like Animal Crossing New Leaf, play it every single day, catching all the bugs, catching all the things, the fish, the sharks, the fossils, finishing up that museum, making it look all good and nice. Yeah, it's such an obsession really kind of want to open it up to more people, like the dream thing, whatever, so like people could come and visit my town and stuff, but my town's not really at a good point for things right now. Still kind of early on playing it. Yeah, but you're wondering, what the heck does that do? If you remember when we came in this area the first time, it's actually down to that big old giant slope. Uh, we had to get out of here as fast as we could because it was too hot for us, but apparently with these fire shield earrings like in Ocarina of Time, a suit or just cloth or earrings help you not be burned alive in extreme heats. But with that, we are now near the crater of the Elden Volcano. This is Volcano Summit. Not really much to show off here at the current moment, but with the Firefield Earrings, we are allowed here for extended periods of exploration, so that's perfect for us. Sacred Flame, and a 90% chance that she reads the Sacred Flame is somewhere around here, and that will open up this area, the Volcano Summit, which means I believe up to this point now, we've unlocked all the different kinds of areas, minus a couple here that we're going to explore in the Volcano Summit. Uh, we've explored pretty much almost every single area of the uh, of Skyward Sword. Anyway, we're going to get some... I believe these are new enemies, so I'm going to identify them. I'm not particularly sure, but these are, we haven't identified a new enemy in over a long time, it feels like. Or maybe I've just been accidentally skipping it and not really doing it as much. But this is just a red choo-choo. They just do fire stuff to you, so just be super careful. Your fire shield earrings can't protect you from things like that. And whoa, that's an epic shot of jelly blobs and fire keys, which I believe is... I don't think those are a new enemy. I'm pretty sure we saw those... Get off of me. I'm pretty sure we saw those uh, in the Earth Temple, so we won't worry about that. We'll quickly save right here. Before we continue, and let's look at a map of this area, seeing where we want to go. We came in from here, and we can see this whole area around here. I believe if we head over here, I don't think there's anything we can do at the current moment. Oh, hey, Amber Relic. Did not see you quite there. Actually, I remembered uh, we're going to want to have a few empty bottles, so I may have to waste my potions here yeah i'm probably gonna have to waste them though it won't be too big of a deal because i can always go back and get more potions in a bit now this area is an okay area i gotta get rid of my fire please um this is an okay area it's not particularly my favorite area it reminds me a lot of uh just the last little bit of area that we explore in I Jump and Fire, in the uh, Ocarina of Time, the whole fire temple. Uh, 
area is what this area kind of reminds me of. And I am so happy, first of all, let me identify this enemy. Enemy? Enemy, please? Can I identify this enemy? What am I doing not doing right? Well, first of all, I can't call on Fi now. So we're gonna have to kind of wait, because this is a, a, a cursed spume. Can I please identify you? What am I doing wrong here? Am I missing something, like, really important here? Like, why can't I call Fi? Is there, like, a reason I can't? That's kind of weird. Okay, there we go. Now I can call Fi. It just was kind of weird. Anyway, this is a cursed spume. The only thing difference between these is that they spew that cursed kind of stuff on us that just allows us not to access our weapons or enemies. We've seen that in the bottom of the ancient cistern before, and we've had some trouble with it kind of off and on. Anyway, whoa, 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 big red choo-choo. Where the heck did you come from? I think I remembered that just a few seconds ago. But anyway, um, as I was going to say was that this area right here that we're about to explore is not as troll-worthy as, um... It's not as troll-worthy as, say, the, the Lanaru Desert, where we went to, like, three different areas before we actually got to the main dungeon. That's not gonna happen here. Now, there's gonna be something here that is gonna probably make you rage a lot. But we probably won't get into that this episode, but we'll see a little bit of it in a, in a while. But, uh, I wanted to come out here because there's a couple of things that I want to do. Um, I guess I can get these while I'm at it. Can I please get you? Um, you want to get two bottles of water here, which is why I was saying you wanted to have some empty bottles. So you want to get two empty bottles right there. And right here, if you can do it right, this may take me a couple of tries, behind this giant stone pillar thingy right here is a goddess cube. So, if we can do this right... And... Wall behind here. Oh, so close. So close. So close. So close. Let's just try that again. I'm surprised I actually almost did it in one attempt. Let's try that again. Fall towards it. Fall right there. Yes, did it in two attempts. You, I could not get this on my first attempt. I remember when I first played through Skyward Sword and I saw that there was a goddess cube back here when I, di when I dove off and... It took me well over lots and lots and lots of tries over lots and lots and lots of days to try and get this goddess cube until I think I actually did get it. It just took me forever to do it because I had so much trouble with it. Let's just... Can I use my claw shot? Yes, thank you. Don't believe there's anything on top of these pillars, so we're just gonna keep on climbing back over here, so... Things you want to pick up over here is definitely, uh, shoot, um, uh, hello, okay, there it is, oh, I gotta climb a little bit higher, okay, uh, things you definitely want to pick up over here is this goddess cube, if you can, and, um, I touched a thing, it was right there, right about there, and you want to pick up bottles of water, you can come back, Oh, no, please get up here. Oh, no, please get up here. Thanks. Okay, you can come back over here and pick up your uh, bottles of water again and again, but I would recommend getting them all right now. Here's Actually, I want to see if I can get some of these butterflies. That's not a butterfly. I mean, that is a butterfly. That's not my net, I mean. Turn around. Can I get some? Can I get some? Can I get one? I'm totally getting you, butterfly. I'm totally trying to get butterflies here. Okay, well, that's epically failing. Obviously, there is a thingy here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Game, don't make a fool out of me. Don't make me a liar. I know that there was one here. There's some butterflies here, so there's a thingy here. And we get a useless jelly blob that we can get from easy enemies. So there's a bunch of red chooches around here. So that's two things you want to pick up when you're over here. The goddess cube and the 
And you're gonna hear that little ding every single time you enter this area. Now I believe, yeah, this red choo choo comes back every single time. And I believe we want to exit this way. There's an area that I didn't show off that has another goddess cube that is also going to make you rage, but we can't pick that up at the time, and it's just not an area that I need to show at the current moment. But if we head over here, somehow this guy could totally get in here without fire shield earrings, even though you kind of need fire shield earrings to get in here. I guess a, a Goron's body doesn't particularly need it. I guess they're, because, well, you know, they can just stay with, they can withstand these flames. Anyway, he wishes that there was something that we could do about these flames right here. This is why I recommended that you picked up the bottles of water. And Phi is also going to tell us that we can douse for goddess cubes, just because this is the original guy that told us about goddess cubes before. But, um, yeah. Now you can start dowsing for goddess cubes, so you could find that one back there if you didn't, if you missed it. Now, I believe somewhere around here is just little digging holes, but it may be in the next little area I'm thinking of. This says, quench our thirst. If we come right here, pull out one of our bottles of water, and pour it onto this frog tongue thing, we'll have put out the flame. So technically, I could have saved one of my potions because we are going to need to do this, guess what, again. So, let's talk to him, and there's more flames, so we're going to have to do this again. So you can go right back out and easily pick up another bottle of water, but I just made it easy on myself and got both of them. So, yeah, and I can always buy those potions and upgrade them later on, because we're going to get tons of rupees anyway from things. What do we got here? We've got an Elden Ore. I don't even know how many of those we have, like very few. Six. Okay, let's just dig up some things before we go and put water onto this next little area over here. So let's just pick up this one. Um, I don't want to talk to you again. Rumor has it there's a piece of heart hidden somewhere. The thing is you need to be able to dig like a magma. This is actually a hint towards something that we're gonna get later that we can't really deal with at the current moment. That's a lot of hearts when I don't need them, but okay, sure, I'll take them. Um, oh, 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 buggy, 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 buggy. You're like bugs in Animal Crossing. I try to catch you, but I end up squishing you. Which, luckily, you can't do in Animal Crossing. But I've had one too many bugs commit suicide by just just diving into water. Into my oceans. Um, anyway, right here, you'll notice you won't be able to reach this one right here. This mechanism is formed by magic. Its purpose is not known to me. It is actually kind of interesting. Anyway, what we want to do right here is we want to pull out our claw shots and come up to this top area. Nope, don't want a claw shot again. And then uh, we want to hop over there. It's kind of a big leap, so let's see if we can do this. Perfect. And then stand right about here. Pull out your other water. And there you go. I don't know why you can't just toss that. Like, if I was a Link, I would just toss it right there, but I guess they decided to make it just a bit more challenging for us, so let's just go back down and come over here to something that I am about to say will make you rage so hard. You're gonna hate this, and you will understand in a second. Actually, I won't spoil it. I, I, I just won't spoil it. Anyway, this is not to feel like a goddess cube, because that's what he was looking for. This is a big giant frog thing, and it says, I, d I do not think the amount of water in one of our bottles will be able to satisfy this little frog thing this time. So we're going to need a big giant container of water. Now, let's think about that for a second. A big, giant container of water. Hold on, let's see what Fi is going to say here. 
I detect the water. Um, of course, you will need a large basin to proceed. So, we're gonna need a large basin. Let's think about this for a second. A large basin, large container of water. Where have we seen one of those things? Well, the game doesn't really point it out to you very well, and this part kind of got me confused until I looked up a guide the first time I played through this game. What you actually need to do is we actually need to head back on over to Faron Woods. And we need to go visit the water dragon because she has a large basin thingy. Like, she's got, like, a big giant basin. It's the only container that will actually be helpful. And I don't know how any other way to say this without, like, spoiling things about it. But, yeah, that's where we're going to need to go. And I will show you why you're going to want to rage in a little bit. But before we do... Ah, hello? Hello? Can I reach the... Can I... Thank you. If we come out over here on this window, we will be able to navigate this area outside here. And up here, we got my little friends that I don't like. So, hello, Lizalfos. Don't breathe fire. This is a very small area for us. And it's not gonna work, so let's just... do that to you, and you're dead. Perfect. Her. Anyway, over here, got his cube for us. And a little heart. So, perfect. Now I'm just trying to debate if we have enough time to do the thing that's going to make me completely rage so much. Um, I feel like we... Oh, wait, hold on. What's this? What is this? Why is this golden? Can I get a lot of things from this? No? Not particularly? Okay, I think that's hinting towards something in a little bit, but if we just come back... Down here, where we need to go is Faron Woods to get a big, giant, large container, and like I already said, it's from the Water Dragon, because she's got one. I'm trying to debate whether to go right now to the actual to her to the area i guess we will go and maybe we'll pick up the thing yeah you know what we've got plenty of time i posted the last episode was like a 30 minute episode of the elden of din's silent realm so you know what hopefully this won't take me too long to do hopefully not if it does i will extremely be extremely upset and probably have to cut this episode in a little bit and then do that but that is what I like I do like the fact that it does not take as long to get to the next dungeon in the uh, Elden region as it does like say the Lanaira region where they make us go in three different areas which I already talked about and I already said in detail how much I hated that part but that doesn't mean I like the Elden region a little bit more just because it's a little too it's a little too simple for my taste. But I'll get into that in a little bit. But let's dive down here to the Faron Woods to get the thing that we need to do. Actually, before heading off, I want to go here to the Forest Temple. Because there's a goddess cube that we can now get with our claw shots. And there's one somewhere else where we can get with our claw shots. I just can't particularly remember where that other one is at the current moment. We could totally douse for it because we've got that power now. Um, but I believe if we come over here and reach these vines... And then, okay, I guess we can't reach that area. Come over here. This is right in front of the Skyview Temple. Maybe we saw this in our first playthrough. Maybe we didn't. I have no idea. But this is another goddess cube that we can get. So, yay. I like that. Now I believe there's another goddess cube. I just have to try and remember where it's at. 
So, let me think about that, and I'll get right back to you. Oh my goodness, look, I finally caught a feather. I can finally show you that I caught a bird a feather. So... Bird feather. If we descend right here at, at the right in the entrance in front of the ancient cistern, there should be right there a claw shot area for us with a goddess cube up here. So let's just come back. We could have gotten these at any point in time after we got the claw shots. I just didn't find a reason to come back here. And now that we did need to come back here for a large water basin thing, um, well, this works perfectly. Now, I know around here next to somewhere here, there it is, is a, it's kind of out of reach, but I would definitely get in. I would make sure that you have enough space before you come and get this. Oh no! Can I get it? 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 Oh, so close. Okay, you know what? Let's get a little closer. Go, 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 go. This is where you would need the speed boost on your beetle. Come on, come on, come on. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. There we go. Got it. Come on. I don't know why I was acting weird. Anyway, perfect. And since we're already right here, let's drop down and turn back in here and see, well, Feror, Feron, Woods, not Feror, Feron, let's go talk to the water dragon herself, yay, my controls work while I'm swimming, they tend not to, that's when my game is like batteries, anyway, you, no, not drop down, you, I want to talk to you, can't even see myself. But, ah, it's you. Tell me you are mastering the power that dwells within your sword. Oh, you wish to borrow my water basin? Hmm, very well. I have recovered and I have no intention of having to soak in it again soon. Be gone with it. It's yours to use as you please. Perfect. Hey, Fi. What's up? It's that little music sound again. The guy that I can't stand. The one, the only, annoying, link hating, fi loving scrapper. We need you to carry this water basin back to that area right outside that little flame wall so we can dump some water over there. Now everybody, everybody, everybody listen, everybody listen. Everybody calm down right now. Everybody just everybody just relax. It sounds like it's gonna be such an easy, easy, simple task to put the water on the flame, on the frog mouth. Sounds like a super easy, super easy task. I cannot stress that enough. That it's gonna sound like the easiest thing in the world. It's not. Let me tell you straight up right now. It is not going to be easy. This is a thing that is going to make you rage so hard. Will make your blood burn. Will make you so frustrated. And will make you hate Scrapper as much as I hate Scrapper. This may just be because I refuse to follow a, a guide. I refuse to. Do, I just wanted to do this on my own free will, my own time, and take the time to do it, and then get annoyed that Scrapper would always. Well, you'll see. You know what? You will just have to see what's gonna happen here. So let's just. Take Scrapper, 
and let's go to the Elden region, and just, just, you know what, I'm gonna be silent, because there are no words to describe how much I don't enjoy this little section here that we're gonna have to go do. So, without further ado, let's dive in to the Elden region.